testing, testing. It would help, you know, if I start the stream with my microphone on. <laughs> uh, anyway. Hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing all right. It's quite hot here currently. Again, temperatures decided to go up. So I'm sitting here with a glass of apple juice with melting icebox in it. What's the temperature currently? It's like 22 degrees. I think it's a few degrees hotter in my room. Uh, which that should suit for what we're going to be streaming because uh, I'm going to be having a look at RimWorld. Oddly enough, this is not a game which I have which I have played before. Um, you'd think I would have, considering I like Dwarf Fortress so much, but uh, I never actually just got around to purchasing it. And well, I ended up doing so a few days ago. What pushed me over was a few was a number of mods which I've seen for it. Um, not that the base game itself wasn't interesting to me in the first place, but uh, there's quite a few Warhammer and Warhammer Forty Thousand mods for it, and I would like to have a look at them at some point in the future. I debated whether I would jump into it with mods, but I think we'll do some... We'll do at least one run of the uh, base game, just so that I know how to separate things cause from uh, the base mechanics from the mods. I'll be able to appreciate them more that way, and also actually know what the heck I'm doing. So let's get this started. I have watched a number of streams of this, other people playing it. I've actually been watching a series done by Surreal Beliefs on dwarves in a modded room world, so uh, let's just get this captured. Uh, there we go. Okay. Why are you not fully captured in the window? Ugh. You are not the right resolution. That is why. Keep. There we go. Now you're better? Kind of. Sort of. Uh, um. Doesn't have a borderless mode. Okay, fine. I'm going to do full screen. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, well. Or should I do it the other way around? Hmm. I think that's also maybe a little loud. Let me turn it down a bit. So from what I understand about this game, you uh, play as a bunch of people who have crash landed on a planet because of their ship being destroyed in orbit or something like that. And you have to create a colony and keep them alive through attacks by raiders and the wildlife as well. So, yes. Mmm, could I do a tutorial? Uh, let's see. Probably, just so I know the basis of it. Uh, teach you how to play the game. The first step is to generate a world to play. This page configures how your world should be generated. I don't actually know much about the world that it generates. Um, I sort of know you can choose where you want to embark, but uh, I don't know, like, it seems like there's some interactivity with going to other locations, which is something different from Dwarf Fortress. This page configures how your world should be generated. Default settings here are good, go ahead and click generate. Seed, Mandrill, uh, global coverage, 30%, what's this do? The planet is always the same diameter, but since it's far larger than needed for play, we don't generate the whole surface because it can take a very long time. This is the percentage of the surface that you want generated. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Hmm. Rainfall. I think this is right. It could be rather hot in some areas. Uh, population is probably how many other camps there are around the place. Temperature, normal, normal. Well, since this is just for the tutorial, we'll just generate another world when I feel like doing it. I don't have the DLC, so. What's this? Luciferium can heal Scar. Oh, that was a loading screen. Okay then. Oh, I see. 
Oh look, it is actually a globe. How about that? I thought it was just like a big flat plane. Maybe I was remembering earlier versions of it. This is not a game which I've followed the uh, development of at all. So uh, aside from watching other people play, I know nothing about it. Um, Select starting site. Oh, it's got one pointed out to us. What are these different things? Faction. The Combaro Nation. Okay, neutral. You're probably bad guys. The Grey Murderers. A base of one of the factions. Very descriptive. What's this? Pada. Heron Covenant. Neutral. Okay, they're probably denoting different groups or something. Syria. Okay. Black Brana. Faction. Alliance of Gubor. Oh, okay. You actually click like the hex. <laughs> this one in particular. Temperate Forest. Please choose the Temperate Forest site with no hills. Like green with no brown dots. Terrain. Forests of deciduous trees interspersed with fertile clearings. Many species of animals move around among the trees and on the plains. Terrain is flat. I have seen that you could like mine through like hills and mountains and so on. Um, this game doesn't seem to have Z levels, though apparently there is a mod which adds Z levels in, which is still in work, so be interesting. Uh, movement difficulty one, I suppose that's how fast your people move around. Stone types, limestone, marble, and slate. Okay, average temperature. 10 degrees Celsius, minus 3 to 24. Okay. Growing period. 30 to 60 days. Rainfall, quite a bit. Forage ability. Berries. Animals can graze now. Yes. Average disease frequency. 1.2 year. What, do they just pop out of the <laughs> ground or something? Time zone, minus 1. Okay. We're not going to have to be... Figuring out time zones while I play this. What's this? Flat desert. Very dry area which supports little life. There is very little arable land and animal life is very sparse. Deserts can be hot or quite cold. Tundra. These mostly frozen plains bear almost no trees and little vegetation. There are very few animals interspersed with large herds of migratory grazers and their predators. Ice sheet. Oh, you can actually embark all the way up here or something. You know, I don't think I've ever seen anyone embark in like a desert or a uh, tundra before. Everyone just seems to choose areas like mountain terrain or forested areas. There's probably a good reason for that. Let's embark here because it's telling us to. Since this location is within four tiles of another faction base, they will feel you were encroaching on their land and relations with this faction will worsen every 15 days. Settle here anyway. And it just says anywhere. It just says a temperate light forest. So maybe we'll embark somewhere a little bit further away. Um, Yeah, that's it. Uh... Probably bark somewhere where there's water. Makes sense. <laughs> Let's go here. No, hang on, that's uh, perhaps a little bit too close. What did it say? Four tiles? That's not four. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Just embark. Here. There we go. It's good enough. Now you choose which characters you want to use. Drag a character from the left behind part of the character's list at the bottom into the selected part at the top. Optionally, clicking a character will allow you to inspect him or her. Okay. Drag to reorder. Oh, okay. Ah, so you can see them. Sigma. Good day. 42. Childhood. Musical kid. Artistic plus five. Social minus two. Escaped convict. 
Sigma denies involvement in the crimes that brought about her incarceration in a brutal penal colony. She escaped by tunneling beneath the perimeter using modified cutlery. Okay. Mining plus four, crafting plus two. That would be useful, but I think we're embarking in an area where there's no hills, so... Incapable of caring. Yeah, okay. Traits. Too smart and nudist. <laughs> okay. Uh, three shooting, melee two. I think the flame means that they have a passion for it? Yeah. So they, like, get extra happy thoughts out about increasing that skill. I think... Is this a breakdown? Oh, yeah, okay. We get to choose out of all of these. These are the ones we're going to get. These are the ones which are left behind in space or whatever. Shooting, construction, and medicine is the best. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Vat grown soldier. Sir, wasn't made as a person, but as an instrument of destruction, grown in a bioweapons facility and taught combat during his exhilarated growth. Sir still has a proclivity for combat of all kinds and an aversion to human contact. Plus four shooting, plus four melee. Doctoring disabled, ward wardening disabled, doctoring visit sick people disabled. Okay. Incapable of caring, social, and firefighting. Caused by trait pyromaniac. Oh yeah, I saw that. So people will with Pyromaniac will go around setting random fires. Greedy and petty. Oh, pretty, not petty. <laughs> Needs a really impressive bedroom. He gets a mood loss if he doesn't get what he wants. Have a real passion for shooting. Okay. And Frankie. Star Knight. Born on a medieval world, Frankie's first memory is of gazing up into the night sky. Ever since he dreamed of squiring for a night amidst the starfield heavens, he focused on his focus on that vision left him somewhat single-minded. Abducted from his medieval homeworld, Frankie later escaped his captors via an impressive display of swordsmanship. For a moment, as he drifted in the escape pod, his childhood dream of becoming a knight among the stars felt so real. Then he crash-landed. Incapable of animals. And what? Artistic. Artist. Okay. So he's just like all about being a soldier. Slow learner and abrasive. Won't get along with other people. Also, you have some injuries. Father. Vitally loser. Opinion of loser. Plus 30. Father. Okay. Loser's opinion of me. Plus 30. Okay. Oh. I see. So your father's actually on the ship. Okay. <laughs> but he was a vat grown soldier. How are you? Uh, whatever. Um. Ooh, you have an addiction. And a prosthetic heart. What is this? A heart prosthesis. It contains electric motors that pumps blood smoothly around the body. Users often report feeling tired, but it's better than the alternative. Oh, okay. So it's like, my heart was injured, and I haven't- I have a replacement, so. It's not as good, but, uh... Okay. Oh, you have also have a cochlear implant. Bit deaf. Which replaces normal hearing. An external microphone transmits a sound signal to electrodes wrapped around the inner ear's auditory sensing nerves. The electrodes stimulate the nerves according to the sound, creating a sensation of hearing. It's not as good as a natural ear. But it's a lot better than being deaf. Okay. Pyromaniac's very bad. <laughs> Freaking loser is very, very good. Is he? Geologist. 15 mining. And he's got a passion for it. Melee is 11. Shooting is 7. Incapable of caring and social. You have chemical interests. Uh... You will ignore directives to not use recreational drugs and will consume more than a normal person. Yeah, okay. You're also greedy. You need a really impressive bedroom. And your son is Frank Frankie Etheria. Oh, that's Star Knight. Yeah, sure. Uh, what about you? Lexi. You have 11 mining and you're also very passionate in it. Incapable of dumb labor. 
won't haul or clean, steadfast, another nudist, and lazy. Global work speed is minus 20%. Okay. You're a good cook. You've got a lot of passions too. You're incapable of firefighting. Caused by backstory. Station security. Was commissioned as a special constable on a network of space stations. There he prevented illegal human trafficking. Once fire broke out on the station and he saved many from the flames. Since then he has avoided fires. Oh okay, he's got like a phobia for it. Careful shooting and night owl. That's good. Takes your time to shoot. Makes it take longer, but you get more accuracy. Exchange Sigma for loser. Hmm. Perhaps. We just go through the rest of them. Uh, we've seen you. Medical. Tortured artist. Permanent mood effect. Minus eight. Oh, geez. Um. Eh, sure. Why not? Wait. Did I do... Sigma? Go. Like that? It'll probably go pretty well too. Eh, yeah, whatever. Randomize button to randomize the character. Oh. Sure. You just change them however you want. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Fine. Whatever. I'll just be learning it for the moment, so it doesn't really matter. I get the feeling that their traits are going to get much more in the way than anything which I'm used to in Dwarf Fortress. The three of you awake in your cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay. Pardon. Oh, and space pauses the game. Good. That was the button which I uh, defaulted to for that. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, there's a few, like, hills around here. It's very flat, though. Okay. What are these? They look like giant gravestones. Marble large stealer. A tall, thick slab with engravings on the sides. Steelers have been used since ancient times to memorialize individuals, battles, and other important events. Columns. Steel urns. Granite chunks. Granite sarcophagus. Yeah, it's like a graveyard around here. Oh, how uh, foreboding. Pardon me, as I mentioned, it's quite hot here, so I'm enjoying a cool drink. Okay, W-A-S-D. Yes, 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 yes. I'm doing it! Great, you can also zoom in and out with a mouse wheel. Like so. You can pause time. This means you never need to rush. You can always pause and take your time to issue orders. Let me pause again. You can also speed up time. One, two, three. Now make a stockpile, so colonists know where to keep items. Click Architect tab in the bottom right, bottom left. Click the Zone area. Select the Create Stockpile tool. Click and gra drag out a square as indicated on the map. Okay. Now, just there. Sure. Right click to get out of the stockpile designated mode. There we go. Now, to allow your colonists to bring your items to the stockpile, you must remove their forbidden designation. Guess that's a little red cross. Clicking your starting items to select them. Click the allow toggle button to allow them. Okay, and I think I can click and drag? Yes. 
No, not draft. Not you. Good night. Like, double click and nice to select all of the screen at the same time. Ah, uh, good. That's handy. that there we go some more wood down there <laughs> was our ship just dropping logs all over the planet there's something else underneath you silver okay oh and there's something else it's like a helmet a steel flak helmet go. Oh. awesome next we'll build a room click architecture click structure select wall select wood as a material Drag out four walls to form the shape indicated on the map. Structure. Wall. Eh. Uh, yeah, we'll just make a wooden wall. I believe wood walls are not necessarily that good because they will, uh... The potential to burn, but it will do for now. Go. The colonists will now build the roof. Now they need somewhere to sleep. Place three beds inside the room. Find them in the furniture category. I guess a roof is added automatically once it's finished. Find them in the furniture category. You can use Q and E to Q keys Q and E keys to rotate the building. Okay. One there. One there. One there. So want some light inside or your colonists will get grumpy in the dark or well, they can get grumpy in the light if we add some torches so one there and one there oh you're only gonna let me put one down oh not enough wood okay so your pets will sleep inside with you place an animal sleeping spot inside the room sleeping spots aren't real buildings they're just spots on the ground designated for sleeping oh okay so we don't need to uh construct them Colonists need sources of recreation or they'll get sad over time. Build a horseshoe's pin outside near the room. I guess that's a type of recreation. Oh, you want it over there. Where? Where? Oh, you just want it built inside there, do you? Please make a glowing zone on the indicated... Oh, no, I already placed it. The house has been built. Your colonists will need something to eat, so place a growing zone, as indicated on the map. Growing zone arm. Right click to exit, click the growing zone, click the plant selector, and plant rice, was it? There we go. Have your colonists equip the starting weapons to equip a weapon. Click, click a colonist to select them. Right click the weapon you want to equip, click equip weapon on the context menu. Well, what's your skills? <sighs> yes, I would. Okay, fine. Equip the revolver. Uh, you could equip the bolt action rifle and you can equip the knife, I guess. Don't really want you to be fighting in melee, but there we go. I'll also turn time down. Now you need to make a stove to cook food. Build a fueled stove inside the room. <laughs> We're gonna smoke everyone out. 80. Not enough sword. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait for them to uh, collect some stuff. Silver is the coins of this game. Oh, okay. I'm guessing you could also trade items for their value. Look at them go. We got enough yet? Okay, yeah, just build that there. 
Is that our animal? Ryder. Male stallion. Age 12. Are you going to sleep here? <laughs> oh, sleeps inside. Oh, my ice cube's all melted. Uh, cooking orders are added to the stove itself. Once a bill has been created, colonists will do the work automatically. If they feel inclined to, I guess. Wait for the stove to be built. Click stove. Open bills. Click add bill. Select cook. Sam simple meal. Okay. What have we got? Oh, we got like potatoes. So we're going to be just making like roast potatoes. Hmm. Nice. Do you have to move items out of the way if you want to build? Like, okay. So, let's see. It looks like you did move one of them out of the way. Granite chunk. Or maybe you'll do that in... Uh... Oh, are you cutting down things automatically? What are you doing? Sowing rice plants. Okay. Did we start off with seeds for them? What's that gunk on the ground there? What's this? Black vest. Steel slag chunk. Oh, that's some parts of our... Uh... What's it called? It's a part of our uh, escape capsule. Okay, horse, get off my cooking table. <laughs> Not horses for courses. Not yet, anyway. I don't think <laughs> we've just started. We're not going to be that, uh. We're not going to be that, um. What's it called? Desperate yet. You're actually building a bed along with the wall. Interesting. So you're not like... They're not as single-minded as they are in Dwarf Fortress. It's not like, I'm gonna build wall, 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 wall. Or they have to go collect for each section of wall. He's actually carrying several bits and he's built sort of anything which was in the area. That's nice. You're gonna be hearing me compare this to Dwarf Fortress a lot. That's the game which I have most experience with. There's a bit of ship to say about it. A chunk of spaceship can be deconstructed to yield useful resources. Rooms here. We should probably incorporate those into our base. Compacted machinery. Compacted steel. I'm guessing it's not naturally occurring steel. That's not a thing. Maybe it is on this planet. Weird geological happenings. Wild hill root. Oh, right. Those, I think, can be used for making, like, med packs. Press number three on the keyboard. Uh, maybe. In a bit. I'm just, I'm still like, figuring things out. So, I want to take things a bit slow for a moment. Hmm. There's some more, uh, steel up there. There's a raccoon. And a hare. Steam geyser. Oh, right, these can be used to make, like, geothermal power stations, can't they? Because you can get, like, electricity. And also turrets, I believe. More compacted machinery. Marble. Sure. Yeah, I don't like all these, like, tombs everywhere. Ibex. Alpacas. Lovely. I guess this is part of our ship which collapsed. Oh. <laughs> Please add Bill. What if I don't want to add Bill? Okay, and a door does take longer to build than a wall. There we go. Can I... Hold on. There's this... 
You're not going to let me move that rock until this is built, are you? Uh, fine. Speed things up. Build that cooking thing, please. What are you doing? Oh, you're throwing horseshoes. Oh, the horseshoes just fade out. That's not going to get... That's not going to get, like, you know, boring quick, is it? There you go. You're building it. How long does it take? Yeah, okay. I suppose it speeds up when they have more skill in it. Uh, oh, we need wood for that as well. Uh, bills. Add bill. Simple bill times four. Does it say what this is made from? One, uh, 0.5 times raw food. Oh, okay. So it's just like any raw. Okay. I'm guessing there's a way somewhere to restrict what they use in cooking. Uh, click the plus button to increase the count to 10. There we go. Was that there the whole time? No, it wasn't. That just spawned in, didn't it? <laughs> Next your collar. Now your co collars will cook some food. Tasty. There's a tree in our house. Uh, next you'll want to mine some materials. I spawned some mineable steel near your base. Oh, well, thank you. Select the mine designator and drag over the steel to designate it for mining. Orders. Mine. Steel. Okay. You'll want to harvest some wood. Designate some trees to be chopped. Let's get rid of these trees in our base. Oh, I can't get rid of that shrub. Get rid of... Must designate wood yielding sufficiently grown plants. Aren't those big enough? Or is it because I'm not clicking and dragging? I guess some of them aren't big enough. You can control which colonist does what colonist does what kind of- which colonist does what kind of work. Over the work tab at the bottom of the screen. Oh, yes, this is like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Dwarf, or, dwarf Therapist. Try changing the settings now. Beware, colonists always follow their work priorities, even if this makes them do dumb things. Setting up a smart work regime is an important skill in RimWorld. So set the work settings carefully and review them often. Okay. Make sure you've got someone planting plants, otherwise they'll no one will do it. Uh, you can also see, I think, their skill with different tasks. Everyone's kind of got a bit of a passion for hunting. Doctor. Average of relevant skills is very low. Oh, I guess that just means no one's really skilled in it, so someone's got it. Research. Uh, what's your skill in it? I mean, we can just... Whatever. Uh, who's a cook? You're a cook too. I'd kind of like someone to construct who isn't going to be cooking. Or, or. Yeah. Put you all on construct. Because if I have something to be built, I kind of want everyone to be doing it. Actually, who's uh, planting? Growing. Okay, maybe not you. To advance, you'll need to research new technologies. Build a wooden simple research bench inside your room. Duh. You're going to be sleeping next to the research bench. I oh, want people to go on bed by Betty buys. You know, it can't be good for the food to be storing it outside like that. We'll end up with Kia's coming to make off with it. Or oh, recess market cues. I like the shadows. How it... How it's like... You know. You can imagine the sun's casting it. That's nice. Subtle. And it helps make the uh, environment seem a bit more... 3D than they are. Oh, yeah. Fine. Build table after having breakfast. Oh, you're building the roof. 
Does the roof take resources? Hmm. Oh, you built that wall there. Can I see roofs? Um, probably not now. Okay, I guess let me uh, just go through the tutorial quickly, learn things, and then I'll start off on a proper one. Where I can fiddle around with things if I want. Uh, choose whatever you want to be researched first. Be all this stuff. Okay. Passive cooler, stone cutting, complex clothing, complex things. Get stone cutting, I guess. Passive cooler. Oh no, that would be good for st storing. A traditionally unpowered cooler that works by water evaporation. Must be regularly replenished with wood. Not efficient enough to refrigerate food. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Okay. Hello, welcome, welcome. What's this? Uh, infinite ammo, roof is free, and no need to deal with drinking water. Really? I don't need drink? Hmm. Interesting. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah, get tree sowing. That will seem like it's useful. Oh, the green means that we've got those. Okay. <laughs> Look at loser go. <laughs> that was his name to begin with. It wasn't me. I know we can make... Maybe we can make drinks? Hmm. They get all the drink they need out of the t out of the potatoes we're drinking. We're we're we're, we're eating. I need a better stockpile. You learn to expand the home area. Colonists will clean floors and extinguish fires in the home area only, and ignore fires or filth outside of it. Home area is automatic is added automatically when you build things, but you can also expand it manually. Like the expand. Home area tool, then drag out a new area on the map. Oh, it's like a burrow. Okay. Yep. Okay, I see. So you can sort of go. I want this area up here as well. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Build. Uh. Oh, I see. And you have to. Okay. Uh, the build roof area defines where your colonists will try to build roofs. It also fills when you enclose a new roof. Select the expand build roof area tool and drag out the shape of a porch roof on the front of the house. Oh, that's roof. That's home area, that's roof. Like that, I guess. Great! You've now got a basic colony running. Eventually, enemies will raid your colony. It's time to prepare for that. Select the sandbags designator and drag the sandbags out at the designated area. Okay. If I have to see one more bloody bag of sand. Let's just wait for all the constructions to be built. Consider using the work tab to assign more colonists to construct. Also, you can speed up time to shorten the wait. Once everything's built, I'll send an attacker to test your defenses. You're so kind. We've still got grass growing in our bedrooms. Oh well. And the horse is sleeping. <laughs> Inside. <laughs> is that a horse? Yeah, it is. It's like... Sitting, I don't know, sitting on his butt straight up in the air. Okay, do we have another ranged weapon? Because we had like a. No. I'm guessing this is all very predetermined. Looks like sandbags don't take any resources either. I guess they're just filling them up with soil. I've now sent a raider to attack your colony. Pause the game by pressing space. Well, it's already paused. Read the red letter at the bottom right of the screen. Ray murderers. Draft your colonists by selecting them and hitting the draft command. Right click to... Right click to them to position inside the sandbag. Right click them to position them... Right, okay. Inside the sandbag square. Touching the sandbags. Unpause. Uh, where are you coming from? 
Oh, over there. Cato, geologist. Age 33. Equipped with a steel club. Fine. Go there. Go. Oh, we... Hang on. Oh no, we can speed up time while battle's happening. There's a rabbit! Shoot it! Where are they coming from? Oh, there they are. Stab him! Hey, there we go. You're a bit injured. These undraft. Okay, can I check now? Nope. End of the tutorial. Oh, okay. That was pretty short. Okay, sure. Fine. Let's, uh... We'll quit to the main menu. And let's do a new colony. Okay, that was pretty simple. Oh, hang on. I'm having some issues. Internet-wise, it's flashing. That's not good. Uh... Are you... Oh, it's disconnected. That is fantastic. Am I going to be having internet issues tonight? <laughs> oh. What am I going to do? First off, I think I'm going to uh, play this in a window because that's easier. Hang on. Why is that not showing up? Oh, it automatically changes the resolution. It's a bit odd. Yep, right. I'm just going to stop the recording.